there are risk factors to be aware of. Ovarian cancer occurs most often in women over 50. If you have not had children or there's infertility issues, um, that's something to, to be mindful of. If you have a family history of breast cancer, endometrial cancer, colon cancer, and of course ovarian cancer. Uninterrupted ovulation. Gene mutations, the BRCA1 and BRCA2 genes. And now I guess they can identify that gene and women who have that gene should really pay attention to the symptoms of ovarian cancer. And what I always like to say is if you are a woman and you have ovaries, you have a risk of ovarian cancer. Ovarian cancer, if it's detected early, will be cured 90% of the time. Like any cancer, uh, early detection is crucial in living a long and productive life. Uh, any cancer patient knows you, you cannot guarantee that you won't have a, a recurrence, but chances are you're going to live a longer life than if you had a later stage cancer. The ovary is about the size of an almond. By the time it reaches the size of a pecan, there are a billion cancer cells present. And so the ability to distinguish the difference between an almond and a pecan and a woman who is five feet four and weighs 150 pounds is very, very difficult. There is no other risk modifier which as, is as effective as birth control pills uh, in reducing ovary cancer. Knowing the symptoms and being proactive can help save your life. Sharing this information can help save millions. Please check out www.ocrf.org. I'm ready to learn, I'm ready to fight, I'm ready to support the Ovarian Cancer Research Fund.